Welcome to another episode of Amanda Makes a Mess. I'm Amanda, and I've already made a mess this week because I forgot to film a video. <laughs> Usually, I try to be done filming by Tuesday night so I can start editing on Wednesday morning. But this week, that didn't happen. I <laughs> It is Wednesday, and I have no video. So, uh, we're not going to be able to do the video I had planned for this week because I kind of lost track of time and forgot what day of the week it was. So, we're going to do an art project that I've been working on. Uh, and kind of the reason I've lost track of time is because I've been working on a lot of art projects and I had to work six days in a row. So, we're just going to work on this dinosaur for now. One thing that I've been doing in my spare time... Uh, I'm not even sure how this started. I've been creating a herd of dinosaurs that I paint. Just like little dinosaurs from Dollar Tree or whatever. Uh, that's what this one was. Uh, I'll insert a picture of what it looked like originally here somewhere so you can see it. But, uh, yeah. I've been creating a herd of dessert-themed dinosaurs. So far I have peppermint hot chocolate with whipped cream. And a rainbow chip cookie. This one is going to be just a plain hot fudge sundae with rainbow sprinkles. So, uh, you've already seen the picture of what the dinosaur looked like to start with. It's just a plastic toy dinosaur. It's nothing special. And uh, I've already put, I think, two coats of gesso on it. Because um, it's just... This is just uh, smooth plastic. It had to have something to stick to. So for this video, we're just going to paint this dinosaur and decorate it like a hot fudge sundae. So uh, <laughs> if that sounds a little weird, it's, it's because it is a little weird. But uh, that's okay. So let's get started decorating the dinosaur. First, uh, I'm going to cover the gesso. With this kind of off-white, creamy looking collar here that I've got here in my nasty looking paint palette. So that's what we're going to do first. So the color that I'm using for the main part of the dinosaur that's going to be the ice cream is actually called buttermilk. Uh, it's just regular old acrylic paint. Not when I mixed myself, it, it came already mixed. Uh, this is the color I pretty much always use for vanilla ice cream, and uh, it also makes a good color for vanilla cake or like any kind of baked goods if you add just a little bit of yellow to it. Uh, it is actually a little less white than what you see here. There is more difference between the paint color and the gesso than there appears to be in the video. <laughs> uh, in the video, it looks like I'm actually just adding another coat of white paint to the dinosaur, but uh, <laughs> it is actually kind of an off-white color. But you can, later on at the end of the video, you can actually see that it's not just plain white. It's uh, It looks like it has a little brown mixed in with it. So I had to cover the whole dinosaur in that color because the whole thing was basically the vanilla ice cream. Then I was just going to add the chocolate sauce on top. But um, it was a little difficult because I didn't really, because I waited so long to film this video, I didn't really have time to let one side of him dry before I painted the other side. Uh, later on, I I do get out a hair dryer and make sure that the whole thing is dry after I've painted the whole thing. But uh, that's why this uh, pink paper is on my desk. It's just a piece of pink cardstock. I used it for a background because when I paint these, I usually stand them on a white paper plate. But there was so little contrast that you couldn't see. Uh, the difference between the dinosaur and the paper plate, so I had to use something that was a different color. The cardstock is also there to protect my uh, desk from getting any more paint on it than it already has on it. 
So this right here is my first attempt at putting a face on this dinosaur, and that really looks like it has a mustache. But, um, <laughs> I, this, this, I just, I hated the face, the first one I gave it. And here, I actually, I, I already knew right here that I hated it, that's why I switched to painting the nails. Because I was trying to figure out what to do with the face. <laughs> Um, I think I actually, if I had a smaller brush, so I could have gotten more precise details, I think I would have been okay with the face being this color and the mouth being that really, really dark brown because it matched the chocolate sauce that I put on later. Uh, but I did end up going over the face, um, around the eyes and the, the dark color on the mouth. I ended up going over that with a lighter color of brown. And it turned out a lot better. Uh, that part right there that I'm painting now, that is another part I ended up going over with uh, the lighter brown color. And it didn't make the dinosaur look any friendlier, which is what I was trying for because nobody wants an angry hot fudge someday. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it didn't make him look any friendlier, but it did make it look better. He did end up still looking kind of angry in the end, so I feel like I should call this, uh, like, maybe the only hot fudge sundae that eats you or something instead of you eating the hot fudge sundae. I don't know. I also did his toenails the same color as I did his fingernails uh, so that they matched. And originally they matched the colors on the face, but after I painted over the face, uh, the... The hands and feet just matched the dark color of the chocolate that's going to be on him in a minute. And there, I'm trying to make the face look better again because I still didn't like it. Uh, you'll see in the end of the face I ended up going with is not this face either. Because that just looks bad. <laughs> so, yeah, still still trying to make it look good, but it, it didn't. It never got there. So here is some brown slick paint. That's what I always used for chocolate sauce when I paint something with chocolate sauce on it because if I drizzle it on or just kind of drip it on, it really does actually look like chocolate sauce, which you'll see in a minute uh, when we get to the part where this dries. The blue tape on there is because the dinosaur did not stand up very well on its own, so I had to tape its feet to the paper. And here I'm adding the rainbow sprinkles. Those aren't real rainbow sprinkles. They're not food. They're, uh, they're just little bits of plastic. I ordered these from Amazon. Uh, I think they're actually meant for, uh, to put in slime because that's what it said on the packaging, but, uh, I'm using them for dinosaurs, I guess. So here is a look at the sort of finished project. And you'll see in just a second what the face looks like. So here is the whole thing completely finished. Uh, as you can see, I obviously made a few additions off camera. I completely repainted the whole face here. Because I just, I absolutely hated the first version of its face. It doesn't look any friendlier or any more happy to be an ice cream sundae than it did the first time around, but I think uh, the features are more defined this time, and you can you can definitely see the eyes turned out a lot better on this version of the face, so I'm a lot happier about that. And it has individual teeth now. If the camera would focus there, maybe... Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I added this cherry because I didn't think it looked an awful lot like a hot fudge sundae. Uh, I knew this was going to be a challenge to start with because hot fudge sundaes are very plain looking desserts, I guess. I mean, it's just vanilla ice cream with some chocolate on top. And if you want to get creative, you can add sprinkles on a cherry, but it's it's still a pretty unremarkable dessert, and there's no, like, defining features of it or anything that translate well into another form, like 
for example, turning a velociraptor into a hot fudge sundae. <laughs> Which seems like a kind of a stupid idea now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever. It's done. This is obviously not one of my favorites out of all the dinosaurs I've painted so far, which uh, you've probably not seen yet. Uh, I do like this, though. I do like it. I think it does look better than the original. Uh, I I did put it in a picture of the original back at the first of the video. Uh, yeah, it definitely beats that sort of airbrushed blue and green look, but... Uh... Yeah, definitely not my favorite. My favorite one out of all these so far is still the Hot Chocolate Triceratops. The Peppermint Hot Chocolate Triceratops that I made. Uh, that I'm actually not done with yet. I still have some painting to do on that. Uh, this cherry is just a ball of air dry clay. I painted it red with just the same acrylic paint I always use. And the stem is a piece of jewelry wire. It's hot glued in, but um, the air dry clay has not quite had time to completely dry. So I'm hoping it will still dry even though it's painted. And I didn't just completely mess that up. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this, this is what we created this week. This is this week's mess. And I'm... It, like I said, it's not my favorite, but I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, especially considering it took me like a day and a little bit to do it. Because uh, these usually take me a week or two to finish a whole dinosaur. Uh, and there, there will definitely be more of these dinosaurs coming up in videos on my channel. So that's something to look forward to. Uh... Or to avoid if you don't want to see that. Uh, next week's video will probably be another Reckless Journal video. So, uh, thank you for watching this week's mess. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and goodbye until next week.